Welcome to a new model of the course about GIS for municipality management. At this new model, we are going to speak about spatial data infrastructures. That is a term uh, uh, very used uh, currently. So, uh, before starting with the practical exercises, we are going to give a presentation to uh, to help to understand the different uh, services that services that are available at this moment. Uh, until now, uh, there was uh, no model or corporate GIS where there were uh, a lot of map servers. Every server is uh, where uh, was uh, optimized for the different uh, users, and there were uh, GIS information islands. So. Uh, most of time, uh, most of the times, the different depar departments of the same city council uh, paid for the same uh, ser service or same cartography. Uh, there were different departments that paid for the orthophoto, for example, of an of a municipality. Here we have uh, how it worked. Uh, there were different departments with their own uh, cartography or GIS data and uh, only that department uh, could, accept, uh, could access to, the, uh, to that cartography. And sometimes there were some server uh, for uh, the, uh, all the departments. At this moment, the current model is the uh, spatial data infra infrastructures or uh, distributed uh, GIS. The objective is to make easy, easy the, uh, the access to the geographic information and uh, all of that based on the uh, network, internet or intranet. So uh, it used uh, web services through different standards uh, to avoid problems uh, to access to the different cartography and the model is an extended uh, client server. So uh, there's a de decentralized uh, network of servers. There are several projects, uh, in uh, main projects in U USA, for example, uh, the Clinton Arda, or in the Inspire in uh, the European Union to keep the, uh, the cartography uh, joined uh, with, between the different countries of the Euro European Union. Here we can see uh, the SDI architecture where uh, we have the client, in this case GBC. Uh, we have also uh, different, for example, the catalog where we can look for the cartography uh, through the metadata and uh, these catalogs can look for the cartography from the different servers. So we can look for, for example, communication in Spain, and we can get the different roads, uh, la uh, road layers uh, that, that are available to be loaded in a GIS. The components of an SDI are data, metadata, and services. Data are, for example, the transport network, the vegetation, etc. Metadata are the data that describe another data. In the case of the, of the food, uh, it's the, the ingredient. It, uh, they are the ingredients, for example. And in the case of uh, geographic information, we have the uh, scale, the format, uh, who is offering that cartography, the extent, the coordinates, etc. And finally, we have the services that offer a group of functionalities that are useful for a community of users. Uh, in general, the user uh, isn't interested in, the, in downloading data, uh, only in getting, but only in, in uh, consulting the information. So uh, there are several services that can be uh, accessed from the GIS and we don't need to download the information. We only can uh, connect to the server and we can see, for example, the orthophoto on, of our country. We can see this orthophoto in uh, GBC 
but not uh, downloading uh, the several gigabytes of this sort of photo in our disk. So there are several several services. For example, we have a web map service, web map tile service, web feature service, etc. Uh, the main ones are for visualization and query of geographic information. Uh, they are web map service uh, because it's it was the web map service is the most common. Uh, it's available from several years ago, and uh, an improvement for this service is the uh, web map tile service. Uh, the ser the layer is loaded by by tiles, so uh, it improves the uh, time uh, to be download to download the the layer in our view. Uh, there, uh, that servi these services uh, were very simple and uh, a sim uh, uh, it was necessary to access to the data uh, in, a bit in a better way. So uh, there were two, uh, two parts, the advanced access to raster data a new service was, was created, in this case the web coverage service and the same one for uh, vector data. In this case the web feature service was created to access to the data, to the, param uh, to the, the elements of the vector data. For that uh, type of accessing we also have the, geo the geodatabases, for example PostGIS and uh, apart from them, there are two different services that are the catalog, where we can access to a, a list of uh, cartography that is available uh, to consult, and uh, the location uh, by place name, that is a nomenclator. With this service, we can look for a, a town, a, a street, etc., in a server and we can get the location of this uh, of this place name. We're going to see the differences between the, dif the different web services. The main ones that are web map service and web map tile service, the, uh, there are a lot of uh, services available uh, with a lot of uh, different cartography. And uh, for these services, the origin uh, can be vector or raster data. So we can find uh, roads or we can find an orthophoto, for example. But the uh, data will be seen, will be watched always as an image. In our GIS, we will see uh, always an image. Uh, even we have, although we have a uh, a vector layer, for example the roads, we will, we will see an image. Uh, the, uh, it will allow transparency, but only if the server administrator has prepared the layer for that. We only can get the information uh, that has been prepared by the, by the server administrator, at, and uh, we won't change, we won't be able uh, to change the uh, legend. The legend will be, by default, uh, prepared by the server administrator. We will see the differences in the next model in, in, GB, in, the, in GBC directly. Here we can see two different services, for example for vector data and for raster data. But in GBC we will see them as an image. The advanced access to raster data service is a web coverage service where we have uh, full access to the attributes of each pixel. For example, we will be able to apply color tables, to do uh, spatial analysis, uh, etc. We, we, we will work uh, with this layer as it was a local layer, as a TIFF or a GPG, a GP, JPG, for example. Here we, we can see a web coverage service. And the other uh, service, advanced service 
uh, for vector data in this case is web feature service or a geospatial database uh, for example PostGIS for that uh, for these services we have full access to the attributes so we can uh, open the attribute table we can select elements we can change the legend in depending on the on a field of the attribute table we can uh, make advanced queries or we also can uh, apply, uh, do a special analysis. For example, we can uh, do a buffer, uh, dissolve uh, an intersection between a web feature service and uh, our, our shape file, for example. So here we can see an example. It's a vector layer in the origin, and we also can see the layer as a vector layer in GVC. And we can apply a legend. We will see the, the example in, in the next uh, video. The, uh, the other uh, services available are web catalog service uh, to look for cartography. Uh, for example, doing a query by theme, by scale, location, etc. And we will get uh, layers uh, with that uh, search. Here we can see how how we can look for the cartography in GVC. And the other one, the other service is the location by place name or nomenclator. In this case, in the in the Atlas, we can look for the place name by a page and grid. And in nomenclator, in our application in GVC, we we will get the coordinates, the geographic coordinates. So it will zoom to a to that place name. Here we can see how we can look for the, the place in a server. In the case of Spain, of uh, Europe, we can find different web services uh, in that uh, URL and in the in for worldwide, we also can find several ser uh, servers in that URL and each country has their own uh, special de data infrastructure, most of the countries are in the world. So you can look for different web services uh, for each country. In the case of Europe, you can look for uh, services and you will find a uh, web map service, web feature service, etc. And here we can see how we can load these services in GVC that we are we will see the the ex practical part in the next video but here you can see where you can paste the url for the different web services and connect and we also can have the uh, the spa for the special data infrastructure uh, apart from gbc desktop there's a product uh, is there it's a service more than a product that is GBC Online. GBC Online, uh, as I told you in the first video, you can you can create your own uh, viewers. Uh, you can manage the information of the of the city council. You can if you can use GBC Mobile to get the, for example, the different lights or uh, all the elements of the town. And you can show uh, this uh, viewer uh, directly uh, for the citizens. If you need information for GBC Online, you can uh, write us to info uh, and at uh, gbc.com. And with this presentation, we will uh, start with the uh, web services at the next video. Okay, see you.